Thor top 10. Let's look at it. Okay. We've got a, a, a it, very interesting. We're, we're going to ask you, obviously, a series of questions about why your analysis for your mock is what it is as compared to all the other mocks that are out there in the world. You have quarterbacks going with the top three. I think most people do. In fact, a lot of people say Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson, and then and then the draft starts at number three. You've got Trey Lance going to the Niners after that big swap for San Fran. Why him and not Mac Jones? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I was ready to, over the weekend, thinking about piecing this together, I was ready to go Justin Fields. I think he's the the best quarterback remaining at that point. I think Fields is is worth a look for the Jets at two, but, like, that's not going to happen. We know it's going to be Wilson. So I try not to use my dumb brain and just use the information that's given to me to best represent what's going to happen. So it sounds like if you trust a guy like Ian Rappaport, and I do, Fields is off the draft board for the Niners at three. So that leaves Jones and Lance. And Jones is the favorite on DK Sportsbook and has been for most of the time since those initial reports came out. So it obviously could be him. My head, if I'm going to use my analysis a little bit, says that I'm a little worried about Mac Jones. He's obviously an NFL quarterback, but he plays behind an Alabama offensive line that half of them go to the NFL in the first round. We're talking about Dev uh, Devonta Smith, Jalen Waddell, who are not pictured in my top 10, but are going to be right there. I'd say at like 11 and 12 in terms of wide receivers going. I just think if we listen to what the Niners are saying, they moved up to three. They say they want to keep Jimmy Garoppolo and start him this year and take on something for the future. Mac Jones seems like more of a now. Trey Lance seems like the project that, okay, let's start Jimmy G for a year develop a guy like Trey Lance who can really use that and then we'll turn to him. So based off what the 49ers are doing, my best guess is that they want to take on a, a high upside project like Trey Lance at number three.